So I had one interesting hand today where um, uh, we're down to uh, 12 players, uh, six hand at each table in the main event. And uh, under the gun opens to 90,000. Uh, the low jack flats. Uh, the under gun has a 900k to start. Low jack has a bunch. Uh, he has us both covered. Uh, he has about 2 million. Uh, I'm in the big line with queen five of diamonds. Uh, I call. I have about 1.4 to start. Uh, flop comes uh, queen five deuce, uh, all spades, uh, some monotone boards. Uh, so I flop top two. Uh, I check. Uh, the open racer checks and uh, the flatter and, and the low jack bets uh, 135 and I played a little bit they they actually played a, like a really <laughs> weird hand before uh, which kind of influences like my decisions in this hand it was it was a pretty weird one yeah it was at the earlier today uh, we were still 15 left uh, so three tables and uh, uh, on two tables uh, it went open in uh, middle position uh, this open racer in this hand he flats the button uh, 55,000 the big blind squeezes to 135 which is uh, unusual like small uh, the open racer folds and this guy calls so it's the same two players uh, as this hand as, as I'm about to talk about and uh, so their heads up to the flop uh, flop comes uh, ace 5-3 uh, with a flush draw, the open the squeezer checks, uh, and this uh, other kid on the button bets 20% of the pot. He bets like 50k into uh, three, uh, th uh, a little over 300, <laughs> and he gets check raised to 135 again, which is like the sa exact same sizing as the guest guy just uh, used preflop. <laughs> uh, the guy on the button calls, uh, turns turns another deuce, goes check, check, and uh, the river is a seven, offsuit seven, like the flush doesn't get there. And this guy bets 135 again. So apparently, I don't know if he only has one sizing, but it was just this weird, really weird hand. And uh, this guy on the button is just like, uh, side calls, uh, and then uh, the squeezer has pocket tens, and it's, it's good, so. I'm guessing the button had yeah, either nines or eights. Um, I mean, yeah, that much, not many more hands they can have the way the way it went down. But it was re really surprising to see he had pocket tens, like the, given the sizing he used preflop there. So this like sort of like swayed my decision in this uh, hand that I'm about to talk about. So going back to that, uh, we're uh, we're on the flop. This guy bets 135. <laughs> So I know he's capable of like doing this with like pretty like weak holdings, kind of like like protection, kind of like find out where he's at. Uh, but at the same time, you know, like I still have the under gun opener to worry about behind me, and we're still like semi deep. It's 40k big blinds, so I have uh, like almost like 35 big blinds. So it's a little bit uh, too deep to to get it in uh, on the flop. So I just call, and the open racer call as well. So we're three way to the turn, and uh, so it's queen five, deuce, um, uh, three on the turn, officer three. I check again. Open racer check. Open racer checks, <laughs> and this this guy bets one thirty five again. <laughs> uh, at this point, at this point, I'm contemplating racing, but like, given the action, like. He should like know that it, he's repping pretty strong here, and he just sucks to you know get it in versus a flush, which would be somewhat likely in this scenario. And if he's bluffing, I'd rather just keep him in, uh, keep him bluffing, and use my hand as a bluff catcher. So I just call again, and I'm also still worried about the the open racer who you know check call like three way. That's still pretty strong. Uh, so I just call again. The open racer thinks for a little bit and calls as well. And uh, the river is an, uh, um, it's an offsuit six, I believe. Uh, I check again. Uh, and now the open racer, who's been check calling twice, goes all in for 600,000. 
and the first guy who's been betting like 135 on two streets falls after thinking a little while and uh, and it falls back yeah comes back to me and I uh, uh, yeah use two timing sessions and end up folding because it's just I don't know I'm just very confused at that point well the first of all I'm trying to come up with bluffs that he could have that he would play this way uh, you know given the action um, and also like what value hands he would do this with you know why wouldn't he just check and let this other guy bluff like that's enough uh, you know he, he eventually like what I what I figured was that uh, you know he's seen this guy uh, put in you know small bets with like marginal holdings and after he gets called twice on the on the flop, on the turn rather uh, he's probably not gonna value bet this river very light so uh, I'm guessing that he was just shoving hoping this guy has a hand that like he has to call with 